I would describe it as like club music with a cultural twist. It's grabbing that cultural angle on house, techno, electronic sounds, making something new in the process. Some of our best shows were here at this festival. Like, uh, at, you know, sometimes we even cross with people like uh, in different festivals and they say, oh, I was at Sonar, like kind of like a club kind of thing. I was there, you know, for, uh, first row, you know, jumping there, like uh, Jesse Ware even came to us once, like, I was there, I went on stage. You know, it's kind of family getting together every summer to enjoy, enjoy themselves. It made, it made a lot of sense to do a record focused on us and, and about like everyone's skills and like trying to grab that as a bubble and like put it on a record. So like it's definitely, it's a more, more of a personal album. Uh, it's still very uh, truthful to what we've been doing. It is, it is definitely like we've been, because we've been together for a while, like the first EP came out in 2006. So we felt like we, there was a little bit of a maturing sense of evolution where we got to know each other better. It's gonna be called Baraka. We had a pretty weird, funny gig in Bangalore, India. And I think there must have been like 10 people there in a dock for a whole set. And you know, our set is not really like, it's, like, it's something that people need to have fun to because otherwise they're missing, they're missing out. And that was definitely a weird, a weird moment. <laughs> Once we were also booked to, uh, like the, the, the complete opposite, we were booked to a festival in uh, Bogota, Colombia. I think it was like 125,000 people or whatever. Like that's the numbers that I heard, which was like basic, basically like a massive crowd. And and in Bogota, because it's like really high, you're like if you're, if you're like doing something that's like physically demanding, like you lose oxygen. It's like you can't breathe suddenly because it's like too high. So there's like. You're like playing and then suddenly there's like this guy coming up to you with like an oxygen bottle like <laughs> So it's like the most Star Wars weird moment we've ever had. And they had food poison the day before. So I was really like food poison the day before. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're like food poison. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like playing playing songs live or playing out has always been such an important part of what we do and especially because we've been developing this live show thing for, for a while, like with drums and everything, like even in the beginning. Like some of the shows, we can't even bring everyone out. So when we actually do, it, it's such a rewarding experience. Getting reaction like straight out of that moment, like somebody jumping on stage or whatever happens, it's, it's so, you know, it just puts a smile on my face every time, every time it happens. It was important for us to, 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 to showcase our creative process. It's important to go outside of London, outside of New York, and look at Caracas, look at Rio, look at Brunsburg. You know, like they are people that are translating all those techno house music influences into something new, and uh, and, and and we are part of it. I think the 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 first step after that film is our album. I'm more mature now, so we're more confident. So, and I think the film was important, kind of to kind of set a mark. Okay, from now on, we basically deal with our own shit.